So, the survival RPG Outworlds realistic spellcasting in action. Two, five, seven. Um, so, I would say the graphics are probably equal to um, Black Desert around that. They're close to it. Uh, um, so, but the interesting thing is though, this is a survival RPG that take, it's a little different. So they don't, what the design was in this game is they didn't want people running up and hacking and slashing things. Um, they didn't want you to run up to a mob and go, I'm just going to take them out by whipping my sword around a whole bunch of times. You actually have to think about how you're going to attack your enemy, what weaknesses they have, uh, what you can use against them. Um, especially if you see other surrounding objects, stuff like that, where you can, if like guards or somewhere, you have to actually utilize a little bit of like logic to actually defeat things. You're not going to just like bash yourself through this game or cast a bunch of spells to win. That's not how this game's going to work. Um, even down to like the bear combat, you have to actually properly attack. And obviously the combat actually somewhat reminds me of Zelda a little bit, Breath of the Wild, a little bit, not uh, exactly. It's it a little more like complex than Breath of the Wild. Um, well, this combat <clears throat> looks more like a poor man's Dark Souls. A lot more like Dark Souls than... Um, yeah, I would say it's kind of a mix because Dark Souls, you can hack and slash your way around if you're quick enough. No, you can't. Stop. No, you can't. Have you watched the speedruns? Nate, those guys are pros, okay? They're pros. Trust me, when someone becomes a pro playing this game, they'll do the same thing. So is this a, uh, those guys are pros. Ball? Normal people cannot hack and slash through Dark Souls. Most good players can't do it. The, the speedrunners are absolute pros who play the game for thousands of hours. That's like saying that I can run and gun my way through Apex like Doc. I'm bad. I can't do that. Is this thing online though? Is this like an MMO or? I, I will suffer a lot of bullshit from you, Nate. Don't you ever say you can hack and slash through Dark Souls. I can't. I didn't say I could. I didn't Nobody say I could. can, but the pros, and even pros don't hack and slash. They have a pattern that they learn from playing. So when they run up to stuff, you think they're hack and slashing, but they're going straight with a okay, pattern. This is already too much. Up. What? This is already too much. Um, so far, I do not think it's an MMO. I think it's just a plain old, it's an RPG, it's an invention RPG. Um, kind of like, a little bit like Dark Souls-ish, except a little more complex. It, it looks like a... Uh, no, it sounds mean, but it looks like a poor man's Dark Souls. Um, so the combat, so that's not actually what intrigued me about this. What really got me to actually looking at this article was their uh, magic system. So their magic system starts off where you learn like a basic spell, which the first one is Spark. So only thing you can actually do with Spark is pretty much start a fire, or like light a candle or something stupid. You know what I mean? Like, and if you read a lot of like epic fantasy. Like, this is how it usually goes about with, like, some of the main characters that are mages. They learn very basic spells at the beginning, and they can't really do anything with them. Um, and then you learn, later on in this game, you learn different sigils, and you have to actually cast the sigil to enhance your ability. Then you can actually cast, like, what do you call it? Fireball and stuff like that. But it's very limited magic system, though. You can't just go, I'm going to go cast 100 fireballs at my bad guy and win. Mm. No, you have to plan where you're going to where you're gonna uh, throw the sigil and throw it up because it's not going to be with you the whole time. So you have to think about where it's going to be, where you're going to have that fight, where is it going to take place, and how much power you're going to use to actually okay. use the magic system. There's a lot of complexity into it. Do you have to be online to play this? No, I think it's just a regular adventure game. Please don't right, tell good. me you're planning this as, as a game we're all going to play. Oh, no, I'm not no, this is a one-player game, I'm pretty he just, sure. He just described Dark Souls, man. He thinks he's describing something original, but he's literally describing Dark Souls with, with um, AoE spells instead of uh, targeted spells. Yeah, so... That's what the sigil is. The sigil is an AoE spell you put down. Yes. And you use your spells to hit the AoE spell. Yeah. There's nothing special about that, but you're talking like it's some sort of special thing. But the sigils are the only way you can actually advance your magic system in this game. It's like... Yeah, but that that's... I've played that hundreds of games with that in it, dude. But it's like... like yeah, but I've so have I. But I mean, when I've watched this demo, it's super limited compared to any other game. You have to... If you screw up, that's it. Um... And the other thing is, too, they're adding, obviously, durability in this game, which a lot of games have started to add because it adds a little bit more of a realism. Weapons do get dull. Weapons do break. So you have to carry a lot more than one weapon with you. Um, they didn't say if there's going to be weapon repair, but I'm guessing in this game there actually will be weapon repair. Um, so it's gonna Depending be how bad it's damaged. It's going to be a crafting system. Then. Yes, I'm sure there's going to be a crafting system. But it really intrigued me because I love these like style like um, adventure games like Dark Souls. Um, these run-around adventures. Know, like I said... 
this looks like this looks like an indie dev wants to make a Dark Souls game but can't do the complexities of Dark Souls, so they're covering it up with a very weak <sighs> combat system. And I'm looking at this video, and it, the combat system does not look inc- intricate at all. It looks very basic. Um, As far as, like, I don't know, the combat as far as different moveset, it won't be as complex as Dark Souls, but it seems like they're really... You have to be very peculiar in how you're going to oh. attack your enemy, like, super peculiar. Oh, I'm watching these videos, and these guys are just... It's well, just I mean, Dark Souls without the without the complexity. Have fun. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you, if you're gonna come into the Dark Souls genre, you have to come much better than that because of how good the Dark Souls games are. They they buried that other game, Lords of the Fallen, because that game was was not great with its combat and the surge nobody played that because again its combat wasn't great. You can't have a, a simplistic combat system. In a Dark Souls style game, and expect people to care. What about Neo? They've already played Dark Souls. Neo was considered good because that game is very difficult and very complex yeah, but... in its combat. Yeah. You. That's the like. It. You gotta understand the re. It, I'm not trying to be mean, but it's a penetration kind of thing. You cannot you get roll, people who play Dark Souls to play a much less complex Dark Souls because they've already played Dark Souls. You know what I'm saying? No yeah. one's going to care. You're not going to penetrate that market. And yes, I'm using that word for you can get a laugh, Ben. <laughs> you're not going to you're not going to get into that market. <laughs> Sorry. Dude, it's like Giggity. taking and imagine if the only RPG that existed Nate was Dragon Quest, which is a very complex RPG. And then someday you release Dragon Quest for kids, which is not complex at all. You're not hitting any of the Dragon Quest fans because they're all going to be like, this is for kids. It's terrible. I yeah. can't play this. It's not complex. That's what that looks like. It looks like something that would appeal to Dark Souls fans or the combat system that would turn them off. Why must not... everything be complex? It... Because, I'm not saying everything has to be, but if you're going for the Dark Souls well, it's more interesting you, have than it is. To, yeah. you have to be on par with them to get them. It's like, it's like going after the Guilty Gear fighting game market. With a dumbed down version of Guilty <coughs> no, Gear. I, They're just going to go play Guilty Gear. Yeah, no, I completely get where you're coming from, and I completely agree with you. But I am going to check the game out to see for myself what it's like. Um, but I 100% agree with you, because as far as like what Bazinga said, why I want complex? Okay, just to begin with, complexity makes the game way more interesting. The way more things you can do in the game, the way more things that are thrown at you, the better it is. Um, and that's how my mindset is. I think that's with a lot of people, especially people that like RPGs that have played a number of RPGs. Yeah, like, yeah, Ben, I need you to rebuttal. It's only a necessity if you haven't played them. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. If you haven't played them, you don't need the complexity. But it's like a drug. Any game is like a drug. Bizarre. Yeah. The more you <laughs> play it, the easier it gets. Yeah. And then you want something bad, like you want an upgrade like you want a better PUBG because you've already played PUBG and it's complex but you want more yeah and then if someone goes here's PUBG Lite you go I ain't playing PUBG Lite give me something yeah. harder or I'm not gonna play it exactly and I say the same thing like for instance it seems like a downgraded version like it's almost like they're insulting you um and I can see the same I feel the same way like because I'm an avid reader I feel the same way about young adult novels I think they have a lot of good premises with a lot of their novels but the writing is horrible and it's like and it's stupid novels. dumbed down I can I can't sit there and read that garbage because the writing this is, is so bad sound really mean but I have never seen a young adult young, young adult novel translated to movie written by a chick that knows what fighting fight scenes are yeah the, the I, fighting I, scenes are horrible in those books oh my I watched god the first two divergent movies and i was like oh this has got a cool premise i bet the action sequences are going to be great oh the action actions is terrible why yeah. are the actions are terrible because a chick wrote it and she doesn't know how to do action yeah and she was forced to rush it um with that one that was just and that's not with a lot of young adult novels they get forced to rush them out um and it's just they, it's, they, it's horrendous they get all the other stuff they get the world building and character building but when you get to the action sequences they are two seconds long and they're boring as hell well and the fact just like yeah and there's loopholes all over they're not all over their writing too loopholes everywhere yeah. bad but, um, just bad looking at this other <laughs> combat, looking at this other combat video like i think you picked the wrong video because this out, out, outward outward combat gameplay video looks a lot better like this um, looks much better than that other video you showed. Ah, it it shows how the how the fights look, 
I've seen some boss stuff here, and this looks a little more interesting. Yeah. Ben, what do you have to say? I don't like the art style. Though. <laughs> I don't agree with you about having more into a game that it makes it more entertaining. If I have to play a game and I have to have a manual this thick, just to play, like, all right, let me, how do I do that? I, okay, yeah. That's thick, that, that's that's it. Okay, hold on. No, it gets thicker because you have to learn how to do every little thing. No, the I want to go into a game, like yeah, a like, yeah, take, exactly. a, take a weapon and go slack and slash and that's it. I don't want to have to learn my magic. I don't well, want to have to learn my dodge. I don't want to learn well, this. I don't want to learn this. But, you, you, what but, you want to do, the, the, you want to learn, easy, you want to learn game. 25 million different things in yes. a game to make it more unique for you. Yes. I don't want that. I want to go into a game and go, listen, your objective you is, enough, no, you have to go kill these people. You yeah, have but, a sword. Yeah, okay, but, now what? Go kill them. There you go. Yeah, but, that's yeah, all I want. I don't want to go, Oh, but you have to learn how to parry, dodge, move to the left, move to the right, up, down, fly. The LR and the same time. Yes. Go <laughs> to the island to the, that, that has a wizard on it. Make sure you get the wizard the, the stock of, uh, of fleas. Make sure, you get, make sure you get a shrubbery. Make sure you cut down, get a herring. Uh, make sure you get to the black knight. Make sure you do this. And then, then when you get well, to that, that part, then you can get your sword upgraded. That's not complex, When your sword gets upgraded, you keep on fighting. You keep on fighting. When you, get, you die, you come back to life. I don't want to do that shit. That's I not wanna, complex, though. That's that not is, complex. No, that is, that is that not is complex. That's a fundamental difference between <laughs> the style of That is not complex at all. That you play versus us, and it's pro it's because of what you played it growing up. Yeah. The, it's, that, not is that is that's ridiculous. ridiculous. I don't like. want to have to... Hey, Ben, I'm not shitting on you. That's just the way what you like. Yeah. You play When you were a kid, and when, as you grow up, you played games that just let you have fun. It didn't do all that. But for people like me or Nate, it was like, we started with that, yeah. but then we were like, well, I want a little and Johnny. more, I've already learned this. Like, I mastered Mario, Mario's not entertaining anymore, give me something a little bit more, a little more depth. And now you fast forward that 25 years, and it's like, dude, I need a lot of freaking depth, because I've done all this other crap, and it's like shallow to me if I don't no. have more depth. Yeah, no, it's very true. It's it, a different style of gameplay. Yeah. It's like the new God of War. I love the new God of War, but I really... Really, I like it until I put it on the hard mode. Really, with it. hate the upgrade system. I hate this that system completely. Oh, I hate upgrade it. Upgrade system, simple, dude. And it's so freaking annoying. Like, oh, go go to Atreus. Okay, upgrade his armor. Okay, then go to go to Kratos. Upgrade that. Oh, you want to upgrade no. the axe? Upgrade the axe. Oh, Atreus' bow needs upgraded. Oh, that's fine. Okay, well, you can add these gems to it, too. And the gems, too? Okay, well, these gems, do. Okay. Hey, there's traits to Atreus. You can add to that. Hey, there's traits to go Kratos. You can add to that. Hey, you can upgrade this and do this. Hey, you can do that trait. Whatever happened to just, you know, jump into a game like God of War 3. You know, all right, I got a new weapon. All right, level it up. Next level. All right, keep on swinging. This is great. Oh, it does a little more longer. All right, that's all I need to know. I know, Ben. That's I'll give you simple. an idea. I mean, for me, like people like me, Johnny, and Grim, um, those kind of games we play when drinking a beer and talking to somebody, but we don't even have to pay attention to it. Those are those kind of games that we play. How do you not pay attention to that shit? You gotta read a freaking Bible to understand how to upgrade the freaking. You don't. Well, it's you don't. kind of like what I said about Fantasy Tactics. The same thing. After yeah. you learn all the complex uh, um, complexity of it. You can just sit there and you just see the icon just flying everywhere. And yeah. All of a other people, like you were saying, they're like, what the fuck's going on? Yeah, yeah. Said, Anybody at my kids are going to go, what's going on? At least in a Spider Man PS4 game. The reason, why, the reason why we don't have to follow that, though, is just because we've been playing games like that just for so long nerves. that it's built up. Like, we've built up a knowledge of these games. So when something goes, here's your stats, and it says, like, con, agility, strength. Yeah, that means not, like, that confuses me. But, and they'll be like, oh, this will upgrade you by 0.82%. Yeah, but. I go con, okay? That must mean if I have a lot of con, I'm probably attacking your character. You play torchlight, really like, but like it's just something <laughs> you learn over time from playing. It's those just types like of games. when I play Spider-Man on the PS4. It's so easy when you play it because their upgrade system. Just what they do is they have they, they idiot proof it. All right, mm. you can sit there and go, all right, so that upgrades his web swing ability to this, this, and this. I go, oh wait, there's a video on it. Hold on, what's the video show me? Oh, it does that. Okay. When it shows a video of what the person does, the upgrade, it's all I need to know. Yeah, but for me, that like... all I need. But for the three of us, when we play a game like that, we almost feel insulted by the developer. Read it is for prisoners. Yes. Yeah. It's like, it's like, that. you know what I mean? It's someone slapped us in the face and like, here, play a children's game. I don't want to hold my Yeah, hand here, play a children's game. game. We're like, oh my I'm God. like, I'm an adult. I, I can play an actual complex game. I don't, uh, I hate that phrase. I'm not, I'm an adult. Hand. They're not holding your hand. They're making it simple so you can play the game instead of reading for 20 freaking hours. When I want to play a game, I want to play a game. I don't want to read for 20 hours. simple for you, 
but they are holding hand. But that's the, yeah, the that's the thing. They are. People like different style games. There's yeah. nothing wrong with Sorry, someone, someone was going to say. Lack it. Of it. I don't want to read for twenty games. hours. You're about fighting games. You are not allowed to like simple fighting games mm -hmm. and call yourself a fighting game fan. If you like a simple fighting game and call yourself a fighting game fan, get the hell out of my face. <laughs> yeah. Um, Rebels, Rebel City Gaming Club makes it, it so perfect when they say they don't want to play RPG because you want to read. <laughs> I want to play um, a game because I want to play a game. I don't want to read yeah, for 20 that, hours. That's, we're not talking the about only RPG, RPG, RPG I'll agree with you. It's fucking RPGs. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of yeah, but the way Nate's describing it, he wants like ten thousand one features in one game for it to be better. No, no, you don't. Like, need no, to you don't have to have that. You can jump into a game, A B X Y, don't you controls. <laughs> all right, <laughs> slash, up down, attack, left, right. heavy if attack, I'm, dodge. If I bought an RPG dodge. and it was that basic, I'd be marching back to the store and throwing it at the cash here. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, fuck you. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> you can keep it. It's like this, dude. Hey, it's like this. It's like the person who does coke every single night versus the person who's never done it in their life. The person who's never done it, one line is enough to last them all freaking night. The person who's done it all the time needs to do it all the time to keep up. Or has it's something new. Thing, it's the same thing with these games. Stronger. You don't play complex in, a, in games like that, so it doesn't appeal to you. But for people like us who've been playing them since we were kids, we need it to get better, <laughs> deeper and deeper, or else we... We fun. don't get fun. We so, don't get so, any so fun out you, of it. What you need is a fucking dictionary just for uh, the instruction manual because that's we what you look for. We, we don't because like we already know it. Even we haven't yeah. played the game, we already we know it game, because we've played other games that have the same terminology. So uh, we can immediately go, okay, that's that. That's that. That's that. That's that. We don't even have to think about it. Dude, Nate just explained that combat system to you guys about the sigils, and I sat back and went, Nate's talking like this is new. What the hell is he talking about? I did XYZ freaking five years ago yeah. in this game. This is not complex or new. I don't know what Nate's talking about. No, they, they... <laughs> no. But can you see, I can see where you're coming from, man. You want something simple. But can you see where we're coming from where we feel insulted if it's not complex enough? <laughs> 